So the Prime Time Avenger has done a complete 360 with its interior plus its exterior colors. And this is the new 2025 Prime Time Avenger model number 28 REI. And this is what it looks like completely closed up, maybe if you're in transportation mode. But if you happen to stop, maybe at a rest station or just a gas station, and you'd like to gain quick access, maybe to your bathroom or maybe even the fridge, let's take a look. I guess this is also going to be a sneak peek of the new design for the fridge. You kind of have access maybe to a little bit of counter space, but maybe enough room to grab some sort of accessory, maybe to make a quick sandwich. And if you need to use your restroom, you definitely have room there. So I always like to start on the non-cam side of the RV to go over a lot of important information. This side of the coach is going to give you the length and the weight of the RV you're looking at. So 34 feet of total length from tip to tip. Dry weight as it currently sits is 7,328 pounds. Your gross vehicle weight rating is 9,475. You're riding on two twin 4,400 pound axles wrapped in D-rated tires. And you've got right at 2,000 pounds of available cargo capacity that you can stuff inside of this 34-foot model. Hitch weight, right at 700 pounds found on the ball of your truck. Let's go ahead and make our way inside. So 34 feet in length, model number 28 REI. So the story of that model number is the length of the RV is not really accurate. So let's step inside. A lot of change from the 2023, 24, and now the 2025 model as far as color goes. This one by far is by far my favorite. A lot of brighter colors. This coach is gonna have two opposing slides right here between your living and your kitchen, just giving you a ton of space. Overall width of the RV is gonna be 96 inches wide. Interior ceiling height is 78 inches high. Let me go ahead and take a seat in these two theater seats, which is, by the way, extremely comfortable. Some additional storage plus a cup holder. These will recline, but I'm not going to do so right now. This will be your view of the 50-inch smart TV. I don't have it on at the moment. I do apologize. 31-inch Greystone electric fireplace. Those do produce about 5,000 BTUs of heat. But notice the randomly placed four bits throughout the floor. That is gonna be your main source of heat coming from your furnace. You also have two air conditioners on board. There's one. That's gonna be a 15K. It's gonna be ducked all the way throughout the RV, but the bedroom has its own designated 13.5 just to keep the bedroom nice and cool. Coming around to your living room slide out. So two Thomasville collection theater seats. I showed you exactly what those looked like, but here's a close up of these. And this is going to be your booth. Looks like now coming pretty standard between the 2024s and now 2025 is the floor. This is kind of more like a woven material found on a lot of higher luxury boats. And this is going to be the storage located underneath the booth. The booth will lay flat to a bed, about a twin size bed. I'll try to maybe overlay another video showing you exactly what that looks like in the bed position, as well as the sofa on the back. This model does open up to probably a full size bed, maybe a little bit bigger. I'll also try to overlay another video showing exactly what that looks like. But take a look at this. USB charging cup holders, they are lighted as well. Lots of storage. The blinds on board are just your typical accordion style black out. I'll try to show you exactly what that looks like with all these closed. Let's look at your kitchen now. So Kitchen Island, I like the waterfall effect that they're trying to give you here. This material, I'm not 100% certain, but it's like a hard plastic maybe wrapped over some source of false wood. Stainless steel, single basin sink, residential type faucet. Take a look at the fridge. So this is different this year. This is a 10.2 cubic foot fridge. I'm not sure, but I do believe last year's model had a 11 cubic foot fridge. 
but it's different you now have the double door effect giving you a lot of storage plus the freezer now on the bottom your oven's a magic chef you've got three burners on the top oops i am just making a mess you got three burners on the top of course your grate is two if you didn't notice that from me messing up there you maybe have enough room for a maybe a pan of biscuits and your storage is pretty basic you've got three pull outs here just stapled they're not the dovetail and your outlet right there on the island is also nice let me show you your pantry before we move on three additional shelves maybe room for a trash can right over here so very nice I like the brighter colors for sure makes everything appear like it's larger than it actually is so sound system there is no like radio built in with a TV or anything like that you're gonna have this Bluetooth speaker which you can actually take this outside with you in the event that you're maybe cooking outside and you want to Bluetooth some of your music which is kind of cool those things actually produce a, a really good sound so coming right up this is going to be your bedroom north to south additional closets on both sides and it's not going to give you the effect maybe of feeling like you're in a tunnel because they've left the bottom side of it open you have usb and 110 outlets located on both sides of the bed you probably can't see this one come around there's your 13.5 air conditioner just for the bedroom sliding door this does close off and your bathroom has its own entrance from the bedroom TV connections are right over here so you can maybe hang a very small TV on the wall probably on that side be very careful not to screw all the way through though let's check a take a look at your bathroom so again coming right from the outside there that'll be as far as getting you familiar where you're at you've got a plastic foot flush toilet looks like those same press membrane countertops here in the bathroom 78 inch ceiling height here in the bathroom but notice you've got about a 12 inch step up just to get into this corner shower so dimension wise you're probably maybe from corner to corner maybe three feet but from here to there maybe 25 to 26 inches but let me show you this this is important i am six foot two so I hope this helps a lot of the viewers out that wonder how will I look in the shower. It's pretty, it's pretty compact for a bigger guy like myself for sure. Some additional bathroom storage right over there. But coming around to your bathroom sink area, you do have a few controls. That's going to be your holding tank monitoring station right in here in the bathroom. Plus your selector switch between your gas or electric water heater. GFI outlet right here this sliding bathroom door let's take a look at our sales price so again to view more additional photos I always leave a link found in the video description down below which will take you over to our website if any time you during the video you like or dislike anything you see let us know in the comment section down below the factory does in fact read all of your comments making improvements for their next model MSRP at Dayton time of making this video and maybe you can pause it it's going to be $47,799.25. And of course, our sales price can be viewed over at that website found in the video description down below. So if you don't want to see anything on the outside, go ahead and drop us a couple comments or maybe even a thumbs up letting us know what you think. Stepping outside, you got your lipper component, three door, three step entry with the larger platform up here. This is probably around 14 inches, which is great you know going up the transition so transitioning also to your grab handle so this model is going to be what's called a stick and tin it's not a fiberglass unit which what that means is the interior structure is going to be a two by two structure with metal siding some like it some dislike it i find it honestly between the two as far as heating and cooling i've had great results between both of them when it comes to this camper being wrecked 
that's got to go to a body shop for us to do fiberglass repair I had a customer come in the other day that thought he could just order one section that matches identical and replace just that section but that's not the case yes with this one these are panels notice there and up there but we can order just one panel and replace it in the event that you do something crazy and maybe run into the back corner of your rv 10 foot awning with led lights underneath no outdoor speakers but that was the purpose of that handheld bluetooth you can bring it outside set it up with you one tent outlet friction hinge on the door so it feels a, a lot of resistance right there maybe we can give you a shot of your storage so your baggage door is about three quarter inch thick and your clips are a little different they're no longer magnetic it's more of a plastic clip the storage on this thing is absolutely impressive that's going to be your power cord right here sometimes it shows the link but it doesn't just look at the storage and all that side is going to be blocked off so there's obviously some kind of component over there coming around to the front though you got two smaller bottles you're going to have the electric tongue jack your battery will be installed right up here more of a plastic you know kind of housing battery disconnect switch is here and this plug and so that you can add maybe a solar panel you know the ones that you can just set out on the ground somewhere just to get a quick charge to your battery maybe if you put it inside of your pole barn which by the way it's 11 feet to the highest point and your battery dies you can just plug in a quick solar panel and get your you a quick charge from the solar panels there on the floor coming around you got your gas or electric hot water heater this is the exhaust for your furnace fresh water tank so if you do not have water connections for the rv you can fill up your fresh water I do believe it's around 50 gallons, you know, and just utilize the pump inside to give you your water pressure and everything at your shower. Black tank flush so you can clean out your sewer once you are finished. Which, by the way, you're only going to have one connection for everything. Gray and black right here makes things really, really easy. Low point drain for your hot water and cold water. So you also, I never pointed this out, you're going to be leveled or stabilized from a four point manual scissor jack system it's more of a basic camper it doesn't have the fancy bells and whistles like the electric jacks and stuff but the overall system is still a lot of the same components limper component ladder attachment that's the 4x4 tubular bumper bumper great place to put those sewer lines once you're finished camping but a pretty basic system impact wrench i highly recommend it gets the leveling system down a lot quicker it still might require to have somebody inside to tell you if the camper is level maybe from a, a leveling system that you got inside rack and pinion slides on both sides and fully enclosed underbelly but what do you guys think it's a pretty basic camper it's not overpriced you're not going to be paying 40 50 or even sixty thousand dollars for an an rv and i wouldn't call it an entry level either it's it's got a few features that push it up above that but let me know what you think in the comment section down below continue to like and subscribe come see us